this will this will be the first of a uh, a variety of webinars we do with foot mastery and foot mastery is a cognitive platform game intelligence platform based based out of spain and are you guys where are you in spain ignacio la coruña in the northwest okay so in la coruña they they've partnered with a variety of of uh, la liga players and their own intelligence and their own data and have come up with a platform to help players uh with perception and game intelligence and uh understanding um off the field and so this is the they're partnered with us for the for the next year at minimum and they're goal is to help our players or any players uh, develop the intelligence around the game. So from, from this point, I'm going to hand it over to Ignacio and he'll, he'll put us through 45 minutes of, uh, of what foot mastery's platform does. Go ahead, Ignacio. Sure. Thank you, Matt, for, for the introduction. And thank you everyone for joining today's webinar. Uh, my name is Matt Wosen, is Ignacio Alvarez. I'm from Spain in the Northwest, a city called La Coruña. And I'm the co-founder of Food Mastery. Uh, at that, Food Mastery is based in La Coruña in the Northwest, where we are from, and also in uh, the capital in, in Madrid. And as, as I uh, was saying in the introduction, Food Mastery is a platform uh, that we work with professional current La Liga players. So they are able to directly teach youth players like yourself the cognitive aspect of the game. So the purpose of the, of the platform is that you guys be better, you guys um, um, make better decisions on the field to help the, the, the team get better results. Again, this is meant to be a complement, so it's a way that you guys are able to learn off the field, right? I'm going to be sharing my screen to uh, explain a little bit more about ourselves and, and, and how, uh, how we work things out. So in this webinar, guys, what I really want, uh, if I want one thing from, from you guys to learn is that you see the importance of the tactical aspect of the game. So we are going to see why tactical understanding is essential for better performance of on the field. We're going to, we're going to be focusing on that part. Okay, these are just quick numbers. As you guys know, you are over there in, in, in the USA. The soccer is growing so fast, so fast from the last 15, uh, 15 years. Uh, and is, uh, of course, uh, is going to continue, uh, continue growing, right? And uh, here are the components of, uh, of the game. We have the technique, the mental part, the physical part, and then the tactical part. All of them are very, very important for you guys that you dominate all of them to be better on the field. And today we are going to be focusing on this one, on the tactical part of the game, which is very important. And uh, what we feel is that is the one is the part, the component that has more room for improvement in, in, in the US. And sometimes it's uh, harder to learn. Uh, harder to learn, maybe even uh, for some of you guys, uh, it, it can be boring, but it's essential. So, uh, so you are faster in the game, so you make quicker decisions and you, as we were saying, uh, help the team uh, better. So it's very important that you guys dominate these four components of the game. I will add another one, which is teamwork, which is, of course, very important. But uh, let's go with the uh, tactical part of the game. As you guys know, soccer is uh, different in all the countries. Um, we can take, for example, the, um, the example with Europe and, um, and LATAM, right? Uh, so how, how guys, how, how, how do we start with, with um, learning about soccer? Uh, we, we start learning about soccer in the academies, right? since we are very young, with the concepts that uh, our coaches uh, teach us, which are the most important thing to listen to the coaches, to apply all those concepts in the game. And um, the point that we want to make here is that soccer is growing, uh, is evolving so fast. So uh, as I mentioned, the, the example with Europe, the, the, the main difference maybe with Europe and LATAM is that here in Europe, 
we focus more on the tactical part since we are young, since the youth players are young, and not that much in LATAM. That's why um, they have the most amazing players, uh, maybe, because it's more focusing on the individuals, right? They have Messi, they have players like Di Maria, Maradona, that they kind of grow up in the street and they have another game which um, it's kind of we are kind of losing those kind of players we as as formers we need to focus that never that those players are all the time still there right but uh, if you see uh, Argentina Brazil Vinicius Junior Neymar they are one they are only one player but if you see, for example, Europe, uh, you, you have in the academies more players that uh, dominate those four aspects of, of, of the game. And then we have the U.S. That's how we were saying they are growing so fast. The academies and the clubs like, like you guys are in Bethesda are doing things amazing since you guys are very young to, to dominate all those aspects and, uh, you know, be uh, the best version of yourself as, uh, as players. So what, what is the tactical part? Basically, uh, as here uh, it says the definition are various strategic decisions that players and teams make on the field in order to gain an advantage over their opponents and improve their performance. As you guys know, in, in football, in soccer, one second is a lot. You know, it's a lot. So if you are one second quicker than the rival, you are going to have a lot of ad advantage uh, on them. And uh, in the tactical uh, part, guys, there are so two truths in soccer, which are the decision making in one part, that is um, what is the best solution in the field? So let's say make a, a long pass, a short pass, a wall pass, a play to the forward, play to the left back. So the decision that you are making. And then on the other part, you have uh, the execution, right? It's how uh, how, how how well you uh, make um, that uh, execution, uh, which you get better through repetition. Here, it's very important, the technical part of the game and in the decision making is very important, the tactical part of, of, of the game, right? So um, here, so you guys know, it's very important that um, within the tactical part of the game, there are four main uh, phases that you need to recognize and be able to adapt quickly during the game, which to summarize and, and, and the youth players you guys need to know is the attacking, the defense. What do you guys do when you lose the ball and what do you do when you steal it, right? Those two transitions. These phases are very, very important that you as a player dominate and that you understand how your team, you know, plays uh, based on what your coaches teach you during the week to prepare the game, right? So these are the four main phases of the of of the game. Uh, the purpose, right? Um, when you are in a team and you work in uh, with your coaches, is to play a uh, well, to play effective. It's not the same to play well and to play nice. So uh, play nice is play uh, play well with the ball, right? And play well is, as we were saying, play effective. Uh, make the right decisions at the right time in the game. If you can do both, that's perfect, right? When you play well and you play uh, nice. As we you can remember Barcelona when they were playing that tiki-taka. It was amazing to watch because they were having that possession, which uh, created a lot of chances, you know, and it was nice to, to watch. Um, not They are not doing the same maybe right now because they play possession, you know, but they, are, they, 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 they don't attack that much. But it's important that you guys understand the, that difference. It's not the same to play way, well uh, that uh, playing uh, nice. So another tactical concept uh, guys, that is very, very, very important and is what soccer is about, is uh, space and time. What is space and time? It's been in the right um, in the right space at the right uh, timing, right? Uh, if you make a run, it's very important that you get to the space at the right time. If you get earlier, it's going to be 
much easier for the other defense to defender to uh, to defend you, right? So it's very crucial. It's crucial that you understand these uh, two concepts. Space and time is the speed of decision uh, making. Uh, as you um, you can see that the speed of decision making can be the difference between a successful attack or a missed opportunity, as we were saying in the example earlier. So please, um, it's very important that you guys dominate these two these two concepts. And uh, so what, what a player needs uh, nowadays, as we were saying, we need to dominate those four aspects of the game, right? We need to dominate the physical aspect of the game. Um, soccer is constantly growing. And uh, you see now players that are every place is, is is in shape. So you, of course, need to dominate the physical aspect of the game, the mental part of the game, the technique, the technical part of the game, and the uh, and the uh, tactical part of the game. If you have everything, you know, uh, and you add the teamwork, um, you're gonna be a great player and a very complete player. That is what soccer demands uh, nowadays right so how can you work the tactical aspect because we know how we can train the physical uh, part of the game how we can uh, train the tact the technical part of the game which is in practices and through repetition and the mental also part of the game which is very important to be focused but how 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 can you work on the um, on the tactical uh, part of the game so uh, of course uh, first thing it's crucial that you guys listen to all the feedback and to all the things that the coaches from Betesta tells you because they are the ones that are seeing you every week on practice so that's the number one and very important thing and then you have other ways to 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 practice the tactical part of the game. So you can uh, analyze your own performance, for example. You can at some points, and of course this, you have to speak it and uh, with your coach, but you can play in different positions to see how uh, the tactical part uh, works in other positions. Communicating with teammates, you know, that's so important communication, guys. So when you are talking with the, if you play as a midfielder, you talk with your left back, and you share some uh, opinions, you're going to learn a lot of what he needs or, or he's going to learn what, or what you need. So communication between players is so important to help each other and to perform better in, in, in teams. Another way uh, to learn this aspect is watching games and focusing on your uh, favorite players. That's uh, very important. Uh, myself, I lived in the U.S. five years, and then I played here in a professional youth academy for eight years. And one big difference that I see um, between when you're a youth player is that over here in, in Europe, we watch more soccer, more football than, than you guys do. It's it's important that when you see football uh, matches, your, your team, uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, Real Madrid, Barcelona, whatever, you, you, you are learning, you are learning. So that's another another way of, of 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 learning the tactical aspect, and another very important uh, important way of learning is studying the game, right? Studying the game, it's um, it's so so important, and that is what we are focusing on: a uh, food mastery, right? Food mastery. To summarize, uh, as we were saying in the beginning. We work, we partner up with professional La Liga players from Real Madrid, Spain national team, the USA national team, Valencia, Betis, um, Villarreal, Celta de Vigo, the greatest teams in, in La Liga. They become the professors of our platform, right? And what do they do, these players, to uh, help and to teach youth players like yourself? What they do is analyze, and as we can do see, we can see here, and we will see some examples now. They analyze their own footage from their games, so they explain why they make a decision on the field, right? So we have a midfielder, for example, from Valencia. He's saying why, how he created space for another teammate or a forward from um, Betis uh, that he's explained 
how he finished, you know? So again, it's a way that you guys can see how a professional current player thinks and how he makes a decision on, on, on the field. You know, we have 12 players, 12 pro current players, and we also included a nutritionist and a psychologist because those two parts are also crucial to have the, the, the best performance in the game. So I'm going to share with you guys. And of course, if you guys have any questions during the webinar, please, uh, please just let me know. But um, this is our flight. You, you guys can see our platform, right? Perfect. So this is our platform. Our platform works like a, like a Netflix. You guys have an account uh, with a username and a password. And uh, when you log in, you go to uh, the program. Within the program, you guys have um, you guys have more than a hundred lessons. You know that uh, everything is micro learning, so they are quick lessons. We are not going. We are trying to put long and boring sessions. We are trying that you. We are trying that you really learn. You know, with our lessons. So we are gonna see some quick, very quick examples, so you see how the tactical. The decision making it can be explained um, can be explained with with these professional players. I start the play getting the ball between two or three players, but I know that there is space in the front to control the ball. Later, I open to the side. Ignacio, the video is not playing. Up to make the. I'm sorry. The video is not playing. Is there a video attached? Yeah. It was. There's no video. Okay. Let me see. I think you got to share your screen. He was sharing earlier, though, right? Share the video, though, or the click to your screen to the video. Right. Let me see if now it's working. There you go. Perfect. Sorry about that, guys. So this is uh, Bryce Mendez, player that plays in the uh, Spain national team. He's going to explain how he creates space for, for himself. I start the play getting the ball between two or three players. But I know that there is space in the front to control the ball. Later, I open to the side. Then I fake going up to make the defense go there. And I stay back in the space that I want to occupy. If I want this space, I must fake going to another one and win those two or three seconds that are going to help you play alone. In the end, the ball calls for you. When you see the ball, you want to get it. But you can't go right next to your teammate with the ball. You need to move to the space. Then you have the time to choose where to move. If I go close to my teammate and the man covering me comes with me, I bring an opponent next to my teammate. When you have a teammate six or seven meters far away, don't go close to him, go away. And once you have the ball, you make your play. I get the ball, open it to the side, but I don't just stand there waiting to see if he's going to pass it back to me or make a play or play with another teammate. I fake that I am moving, but I stay to help him. Like in this play, where he passes to me. In the end, everything. We are going to go to the next example, guys. But as you can see, this is uh, an example of, uh, as we were talking about space and time and how you can give yourself those extra one or two seconds that make the difference. Again, 
as you know, soccer is about small details. We're gonna go to the next example that he's going to explain as a forward, how you can drag the defender with yourself to create yourself some space, go to the first post and attack the ball. There, once Darwin takes the cross, I try to take the cross back from the area I want to attack. I try to get into the defense's blind spot where they cannot see me. I attack the near post. He takes a precise, strong, and perfect cross. I just have to turn the neck to hit the ball and get it inside. It is essential in today's soccer that you generate connections with the players of your team. With Darwin, I had a lot of connection last year. I just want to put, you know, small moments or small situations, quick situations, so you guys see the the, the format and how you can how you can learn. It's very interesting how these guys think during the game and how they explain why they make a a, a decision at that particular moment. So in this in this play, um, I saw when I first received the ball, I saw that somebody was uh, putting his arm out. So that pass was on, but when, once I took the control, felt like that option was going. So um, I wanted to add so much space on the wing, you know, add so much space on the wing. I wanted to take the guy one v one. Uh, I was taking him on one, but then, um, yeah, my, my teammates started making the run. And uh, there was so much space for him there. So I just, when you, when you're against a player and um, you're talking about making the run, I like to to first go at the player, make sure he comes to me, attract him, and then make the pass at the last second. It's important not to play it too early, but maybe this guy will accept it. And uh, yeah, it's important to play it at the last second. And I uh, wait for the last second there, so it's not offside or so, and then play the pass with uh, the right intensity and pass. And uh, yeah, I feel like it was a, it was a good thing that I did there. And, uh, yeah, so I did. In this moment. So it is another example. He's explaining how to use space and time, how to wait until the last moment to make that pass, so it's more uh, effective. Um, in this uh, platform, we have uh, players from all the positions because it's so important when you are a youth player in those ages that you understand how all the positions work, you know, because you are going to be able to really get that 360 vision of the game and you're going to help your 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 teammates. You're gonna under, you are going to really understand what's going on uh, during the game and you are going to really be able to do and execute what your coach is 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 telling you. This player plays in Valencia and he's from the he plays also in the USA national team. He's very young. We are gonna go to the next uh, situation, which is a center back that is explaining the importance of covering the other center back. Again, we include what what this is, uh, guys. What the objective, the purpose of this is that. Besides the 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 trainings that you guys do with Bethesda with the team, that you have a complement that you can still learn, be learning off the field, and what we include is the fundamental tactical concepts. You know, we want you to guys, we want you guys to really understand all the basic tactical concepts, so then you can also apply it with your with your team. Yes, I believe that when covering, you have to be aware of where your partner is. And as much as you trust your partner a lot, you always have to bear in mind that he can fail. And that's the lesson, that if your partner fails and you as a center back or any other teammate also fail or end up losing your battle, you have to go there. 
to keep your defense on its feet. And I think this coverage awareness is used very frequently. It's a bit of the perception of both the man and the ball, and knowing that if a teammate goes to battle for the ball, you need to be there to back him up, and it's necessary to keep good coverage. And Yappy Williams looks as if he's got a bit of space in front of him again. And Yappy Williams just nicked away from him there. Plays with Yappy Williams, and he is a very fast guy. And in the end, the most common thing that happens when teams have a very fast guy is for them to put the ball into space. So there, it becomes very difficult to stop him. When we play with three center backs, it's because of something in particular, and especially for this game, it was to cover Yappy. And this was a moment that I see he is going to make the threat of receiving with his foot and hitting the ball very quickly. And the truth is that it almost escapes by a little. Also, if you're very far away, no matter how much you are thinking about the coverage tactics, you arrive there in the same disadvantaged position. That's why it's better to keep a close distance, which allows you to win the play and you can't end up any worse. Because in the end... So again, in this situation, he's explaining how he needs to be covering uh, the other defender just in case the forward, you know, is, if he's faster than him, he wins the situation that uh, he doesn't just go 1v1 against the against the goal. And uh, these are the... the I actually have one more, one more, which this one happened to myself when, when I was playing. Uh, again, this is about small details and Bryce Mended, we, uh, who plays in, also in the Spain national team, he's explaining how when you make a cross, you uh, need to look, you need to uh, look for the space. You make a cross to the space, not to your teammate. And then the teammate is the one that needs to go to the, the, the space. You know, I remember myself when, when, when I was young, Again, this is just another example of small details, but when I was uh, making a cross, I will always look for, for the teammate, you know? But if you look for the space, it's going to, instead of the, for the teammate, it's going to be more effective. We'll see the example now. In this play, you can see everything. You can see that a good control is key. And if you see, I'm not looking around at any moment. I know where the ball must go. The ball should be placed between the keeper and the defense. My striker knows me well, and before I give him the pass, he is going to the place he knows I am sending the cross. You need to know how your teammates move. You need to understand them. Because of this, the play ends up being a goal. Because my teammate understands me and has a good sense of the play even before I received the ball. So again, uh, another another situation. I'm going to be sharing again here. Another situation, the idea is that we include, uh, as I was saying, players from from all the positions. You guys can see my screen, right? No, yeah, perfect. Uh, from all the positions and that they explain why they make a decision on the field. What we are trying to do is make the content very, very engaging, you know, so that's why we included um, the footage from, from their games and they're just not explaining a concept which it could be uh, very boring. The concept is, is that they always start with the concept and then we include three different situations uh, that shows and um, that supports that concept and we end up with some key concepts. So you guys know also the platform, um, it's um, one year, one year access. There are again about a hundred lessons, everything micro learning. So quick lessons, five, six, seven minute uh, average. And uh, that's uh, that's the format, players from, from all the positions. Uh, you can not skip a lesson to go to the next one. And there's always a quiz just to make sure that all the concept, concepts are being understood after each uh, 10 lessons. So um, again, what I, I want you and what we are, were trying to do in this webinar is that you guys see the, the importance of the tactical uh, aspect of the game. Again, it's improving the decision-making skills on the field to contribute, you know, to be better within the, the, the team. 
So uh, first of all, before uh, the, the two surprises that we had, that we announced it, I want to uh, really thank uh, Bethesda uh, and uh, Matt uh, for this partnership. We are very, very happy to take part on, 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 on this. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. What we had in mind is that um, if you guys want to learn more about Food Mastery, if you want to improve that tactical part of the game and have a complement to keep improving of the field, what we want, we will be um, giving us a gift, as a gift, sorry, a free ebook that we that uh, we have, right, to all the uh, youth players um, that get the platform. Also, a personalized session, a forty-minute uh, free personalized session with one of our um, of our members of of the team. We want to to know you guys uh, to see what your goals are, what you need to improve, uh, what are you good at, what your goals as a player is. It could be college, it could be playing professional, go to Europe, uh, stay any. We want to get to know you guys and and see if we can we can we can help a little bit in 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 your path. And uh, also, we the platform. If you go to our website, it's two uh, hundred ninety-seven. Thank you to thanks to Bethesda is less, you know, to all the players. Um, if if you buy it at any point of this partnership, partnership which is one year long, but until uh, Sunday, uh, to all the youth players that want to get the access to the platform, it will be only. $97. And again, $97 include a one year full access to all the lessons plus uh, these personalized sessions. And we'll have more, we will have also more sessions with you guys during uh, during that year to see what you are learning and and just to see how, how you guys are, are feeling. So we um, are a pretty innovative platform. Uh, we work with teams here in Europe and with players. We created this um, Instagram not a long ago. You can contact us to get the, the ebook and the free consultation, right? Or you can personally email me at, um, at this uh, email, Ignacio Alvarez at foodmastery.com. I'll be very, very happy to chat with you guys and to getting to to know you so uh, basically guys this is what we do we are here to to help Bethesda and to work as a complement to uh, to you guys to be better on the field thank you so much again for having me and please be uh, welcome to if you have any kind of questions for for me Awesome. Uh, Ignacio, that was great. Thank you. And also the surprises, I, I, I did not know it was coming either. So um, very generous. And and uh, hopefully the folks here and uh, anyone that watched the recording take advantage of it. Um, does anybody have any questions? You're muted, so you'd have to unmute. But any, any questions for Ignacio? I got one. Um, so when players are diving into uh, your platform, is it, let's say it's a defender, right? Or um, center back. Uh, are they, is, are your, is the platform broken up by position, by concept, by um, lesson? Could they go start with the center back stuff and then move to different concepts? How is it broken down so that um, they can navigate it? Yeah, so for this first edition, we included uh, all the positions, you know. So if you play as a defender, you are going to see uh, lessons from also from wingers, from uh, attackers, midfielders, because one of the pain points that we that we saw in youth players is that, is that let's say that if you play as a winger, a lot of times you only know what to do as a winger, but it's it's so important in those ages that you understand how all the po positions work because it's going to help you to uh, that that you perform better within the team. So in this edition, uh, in, it doesn't matter your position; you are gonna learn from everybody. So you have that uh, 360 vision of the game. For other editions that we are already working on. If you play as a midfielder, you will have um, 
specific courses, you know, but the idea of this one is that you become smarter, you know, and make a develop game intelligence, learning from all the positions in, in within a team. Nice. I'll give 10, 30, 15 seconds. If any, if it's, if it's silence, then uh, we'll let Ignacio go to bed uh, since it's getting late over there. Um, but again, I, uh, I hope that people take advantage at, at minimum of the, of the free 40 minute session and, and kind of get a sense of what, what's in your platform, because uh, I think, I think you're right when you talk about the U S player uh, perception is not always thought of. Um, I know we've talked about my influence uh, coming from the, the, the folks at SSB that have come over from Barcelona uh, and my trainings involve a lot of perception, but um, you often don't get that. And you often don't get a chance to learn it off the field, which is really difficult. Because even watching a game, if you don't know what you're watching for, you're just watching the ball, right? As opposed to where people are moving off the ball, what they're doing off the ball, and and, and what they're actually seeing. And I think this gives a, a really simple ability to kind of break it down. And, and simple is not a bad word. It makes it easily uh, digestible, which is really important. So um, I do urge people to take to check it out. And Ignacio, thank you very much. This is great. Thank you very much, uh, Matt, all the Bethesda team, and of course, all, all of you guys for, for participating today. Thank you so much. Have a good night, Ignacio. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao.